Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Eric Surf Six, and welcome to Eric Meal Time. Today I am at a British pub in Tokyo. It's called The Hub. Let's get in there. Wow, nobody in this place, huh? We're early. This is good. Hot roast beef. So, it's a fish dog. A grilled onion. Korosura salad. Korosura salad. And anchovy cabbage. Anchovy cabbage. Uh, to be a ah, spring roll. Yes. Ebi, this one. Eh, uh, to beer Guinness pint. So it's the coffee hot dog. These are the uh, appetizers for uh, like if you're drinking. Otsumami it's called. So this is like bacon bits. That's pretty nice, huh? Sort of. Some sort of sticks. What do they call these? They're called fried crispy pasta. It's pasta. Dried pasta. Interesting. Mixed nuts. And nachos. Ever seen blue Jack Daniels before? It's blue. Or would you prefer red? Red Jack Daniels, huh? Just ordered some more. Uh, this time, had to get some meat pies, right? That's pretty British, isn't it? The first course has arrived and I've got a pint of Guinness. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. There's nothing quite like a Guinness. Ah, it's a fine beer. Yes. Okay, so this is a coleslaw salad. Looks like it's served on a kale leaf. Well, so this is the salad, the main salad, and this is the serving bowl. Interesting, because the serving bowl is bigger than the, uh, the bowl that the salad came in. Right? Or almost the same size. That's the way it's done in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the kale leaf, yeah. I like the red cabbage in here as well, too. Two types of cabbage. Looks like it's soaked in dressing. Here it goes. Oh! It's got onions. Mm. Thank you. These are the uh, spring rolls. I believe shrimp. Shrimp is what's inside. That's some magical sauce, creamy sauce. Oh boy. Get them while they're hot. Yeah. Woo. Wow. Just, it's just shrimp all the way through. A lot of meat. Roast beef. So it looks like we've got some sauce and horseradish, perhaps? Got a little bit of that. And it's served on mashed potato. Okay, I'll dip it in a little bit of the sauce. Roast beef, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Horseradish is good. And this is served chilled. It's cold, so it's like a salad. Let's get in here for some of the mashed potato. Yeah. Some good roast beef. Cider. Wow. Not sure if I've ever had British cider before. Oh, wow, that's delicious. Wow. That is so good. It's not too sweet, but it's definitely apple-y. Apple-y, apple -ish. That's refreshing. Yeah. Next up, 
this is the anchovy cabbage. It's piping hot. Boy, it's dishes. Whew. Sizzling. I guess we just go right in the middle here. Quite an aroma coming off of this, the anchovies. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be super salty. Because I've dipped it into the sauce here. Yeah. It's a pretty thick sauce. Never had anchovy cabbage. Is it British? Let me know. It should be. I know this is just gonna burn my mouth. Mm. It is. Yeah, it's very salty cabbage. As you would expect, anchovies. The fish and chips. Now this is what I really came here for. This is what I'm really, really looking forward to. I don't see any vinegar on the table anywhere, so I guess it's meant to be eaten with the ketchup and the tartar sauce. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty nice looking piece of fish. Let's do just tartar sauce first. Yep. Bathe it in the tartar sauce. Fish and chips. Here we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Perfection. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, let's go for the ketchup this time. I don't know. How do you eat your fish and chips? Ketchup, tartar sauce, or vinegar? Hmm. I think the uh, chips are meant to go in here. Yeah. That was probably an epic fail. chips. I like these thick ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think these type of chips, or french fries as we call them, are the most like a real potato. Right? Okay, they just brought me some Worcestershire sauce. Is this what you put on the fish and chips? Let's try it. Definitely, let's try it out. Put a little bit of lemon on here. Going in. Going in. I prefer the tartar sauce better. Mm hmm but this fish is delicious regardless. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you, you guys have got this figured out. You British people. Fish and chips for the win. Mm. Speaking of fish, has anybody out there ever had a fish dog before? <laughs> That's right, this is a fish dog, not a hot dog. Mm-hmm. Looks gorgeous. Well, here we go. Comes in a newspaper. Going in for a bite. Oh. Wow. Ah. Oh, it's crunchy. The bun's toasted. Wow. Amazing. It's almost better than the fish and chips. Oh. Wow. 
First time I've ever had a fish dog. <laughs> so it's got the tartar sauce? Mm hmm. Which I think I just had in some other kind of secret sauce. Full of flavor. Wow. Let's see what kind of newspaper this is. Mm hmm. I'm talking about football. Uh huh. It comes from Europe. Yeah. Yugoslavia. Have you guys ever had cider? This the alcohol percentage is I think four percent. So it's not real strong. It's just so thirst quenching. The only thing in America we have that's like this is what like spiked lemonade, I think. Yeah, like that Mike's lemonade. What else do we have in America that's like thirst quenching? Hmm. Yeah, lemonade comes to mind. Okay, there's one more item left. No, two more items. Next up is the corn hash. Corn hash onion, is that what it's called? Corn beef. Corn beef, hash beef. It looks amazing. I love the presentation in this paper. Now, so it looks like it's pre cut. Just go in for it. Oh boy, it's messy. It's messy. Oh. Sweet. Really sweet. I'm not really tasting any of the corned beef. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, it's um. Oh, hang on, let me have another bite first. There's the corned beef. Mm -hmm. What's all the beef you get? A tiny little sliver. <laughs> <laughs> kind of disappointing. I wonder if you can you eat the skin too? I don't know. This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with this dish. That's all I'll say. Yeah, that's that's a mystery. But this dish over here. <clears throat> Meat pies, everybody. Look at that. Meat pie time. They believe these are finger foods. Yeah, since I don't have any silverware. The weight is substantial. It's heavy. Yeah, there's a lot of meat in here. Mm-hmm. Should I bust it open and uh, have, we'll have a look? Yeah, so it's meat, it's potatoes, it's like some carrots in there, flaky on the outside, very soft on the inside. Going in. There's some more potatoes than anything else. How about this side? Hmm. It's, uh, it's a bit on the dry side. Yeah. I'll wash it down with some Guinness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it, it needs some ketchup or something. Yeah, it's just a bit too dry for my taste. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's time to raid this meal. Yeah. So this place is called The Hub. British pub in Tokyo. The overall experience I thought was amazing. It's, it's quiet in the daytime. I would recommend to come here if you want to eat in the daytime because at night it's just crazy loud. It's a totally different vibe between the afternoon and the evening. Rating wise, on my scale of one to six Eric heads, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it, well, let's talk about the food for a second first. 
I enjoyed the fish and chips and that, surprisingly, that fish dog the most of everything. And these guys, these fish uh, shrimp spring rolls were amazing. Yeah. I'm going to be taking that home with me. Yeah, so total ranking this time around, guys, is going to be five out of six Arrowcats. Five out of six. Yeah. It's a num num. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the meal and we shall see you in the next one. If you're new, hit that subscribe button top center of the screen and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That way you can help me create better videos for you. Click on the link bottom center of the screen for that. You can see many of the different reward levels for your support. Be well and we'll see you soon.